Hey, what's up, guys? Thomas Richard here. Today, in today's video, I'm going to talk about that. It's been exactly a year ago today. I saw Ed Sheeran live for the first time. Yeah, on the 10th of June, 2022, I saw Ed Sheeran live for the first time at the Etihad Stadium. Uh, yeah, you know, my first time seeing Ed live, and you know, firstly, I was very nervous. I was very nervous to, you know, go. You know, I ordered tickets when. It's September 2021, yeah, it was 20, 25th of September 2021, I believe, I'm not sure. September 2021, I've got tickets for Ed Show when they went on sale, and yeah, I went with my, I went with my parents, my mum and dad, and it was, it, Ed, Ed was amazing, you know. I went on the train, uh, I think the first train was cancelled and then we weren't on the next train afterwards and you know, it was so so busy on that train, you know, like I just didn't like it, you know, like I'm not used to like Yeah, so there was people standing up and that luckily we were sat down on the train as well and you know <laughs> uh, Yeah, it was It was a good experience, but there was a couple of things that kind of ruined it a little bit. The train, of course. But yeah, um, I saw Trev, Ed's guitar tech, whilst I was walking to the merch stand, you know, that was amazing. I said, all right, Trev, all right, buddy. You know, I didn't take a photo because I knew who was working at the time, but I just wish I'd said a little bit more to Trev, but I understand he was working. He has to get back into the stadium. But yeah, you know, uh, yeah. It was an amazing experience. I bought a lot of merch. You know, I'll link the the vlog and the the merch haul video at the end of the video, you know, the two sides and in the link in the description as well. You know, of course the and then the opening acts were Dylan and Maisie Peters, you know, which I love this set so much and one of Dylan's songs, Nothing Ever Lasts Forever, Forever and, and you know with Maisie Peters, you know. I think my favourite song was Psycho. Yeah, I think, yeah. And then John Hughes' movie as well, which is so good. Also, Psycho is co-written by Ed as well, which I just love so much. Dylan, well, the doors opened at 4pm, and then Dylan came on at 6, her set was half an hour, and then Maisie Peters came on at 7pm, her, her set lasted for half an hour, and then wait waited for Ed, you know, to finally come on stage and the halo came down, which was a crazy in that, um, yeah, you know, and then I think Ed came, I think the countdown from 10 minutes started about quarter past eight, I think, quarter past eight, and then around half, 25 past eight or half eight, Ed came on, you know, always at the 20 past eight, the countdown started and then from 10 minutes to when it came on with tights, you know, what that was amazing, you know. Uh, yeah, like, of course, like I said, you know, it was an amazing experience, but there was a couple of things that kind of ruined it, you know, you know me, guys, um, I try and be as honest as I can with everything. Ed was amazing, you know, the the, the tech, the, the pyro, the, screw, the, the guitar big screens, and the Halo screen was so, so, so amazing, but, it was so so good there was just a couple of alcoholics behind me and there was a, i'm not sure what happened you know there was a well not directly in front of me but a few rows below me or i think someone was complaining about people who were like uh standing up and down and then this, this very important guy i'm not too sure who is he came about i think it was shouting it i'm not too sure guys you know me guys i try to concentrate on ed but you know it's hard to concentrate with like things happening near me with alcoholics behind me and then people below me like well I'm not sure where it was but this very important guy in a suit he was like shouting like oh, oh bloody hell hopefully he doesn't kick people out like what like me like I'm trying to concentrate on the concert like but you know I just that's why I don't really like cons like of course I it was amazing like yeah I just love, I loved it so much, but it's just that them couple of things that kind of ruined it for me, you know. Literally, literally let the train ride was awful as well. And then we got to Manchester about, I forgot, <laughs> about, was it 
uh, 20 to 2 or somewhere around there, or 20 to 3. And then we just got up the train station. And then, yeah, you know, the train station. Then, never been to Manchester before. <laughs> so this is okay. Uh, very, very busy. Went to the toilet after the train ride and then found a taxi. Like, we went on a, well, taxi. The best trip it was a taxi ride on the way home. Yeah, uh, literally, the taxi got a taxi. It was pretty reasonable, the taxi, I think. And, which was pretty much near the train station, straight to the Etihad Stadium. It was pr pretty good, the, tr the taxi ride. And then, yeah, like with, like I got to, we got to the stadium about, was about 25 to 3-ish, half two, I'm not too sure. And then we were hearing a couple of the rehearsals like for Tides and Blow, that was amazing. And then we got to the merch stand, I couldn't wait to get to the merch stand guys, yeah, you know. Yeah, like, I just loved it, it wasn't that busy at the time, which I actually really liked. You know, like getting there earlier whilst getting there after, like, you know, we got into when the doors were opening at 4 pm. Yep. Uh, I scanned, scanned the ticket app, uh, seat tickets. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, waiting, just wait for two hours for the opening act for Dylan. Yeah, it went so, so, so quick, guys. Like, it went so fast that day. And it's crazy, I can remember some of the stuff from last year, guys. Uh, yeah, it was so, so good. The, also, another bad, well, it wasn't bad, or, you know, you can't really help it because we didn't know what the stage looked like back then, you know, with the massive pylon thing, what secured the, one of the guitar pick screens. That was, in a way, that was, in a way, in my way, in my view, a little bit, I should just directly just there. Didn't have much view of a view of Ed as much, but it was so good, like, yeah, so good, you know. But it's just a couple of people, and the train ride was awful, yeah, you know. But yeah, and then the best bit of the show was easily the encore of Shape of You, Bad Habits, You Need Me, I Don't Need You, you know. Yeah, I just like, yeah, you know. <laughs> my favorite live performance was. Is you need me? I don't need you. You know, with Ed just letting the fi fireworks going off. It's so so good. Yeah, I just didn't care that point. I was just rapping to you need me, and you're jumping into bad habits. <laughs> You'll see in the video. Well, link in the description and the two videos there. Yeah, you know, and then so good. Yeah, I think hopefully when it comes back to Europe, I will. I'll, I would love to go to the Subtract show. Like, that would be amazing. Like, listening to Subtract from Boat to Hills of Aberfeldy and then the hits, pretty much. That would be amazing. And, and an intimate event. That is, my, that, is, that is my dream, guys, to see Ed at an intimate venue and maybe potentially meet Ed in person. That would be crazy, guys. Yes, that would be amazing. To say thank you to Ed, you know, for all the stuff he's done for me. That is the dream, I'd say, yeah. You know, like, see Ed on the Subtract show, on the Subtract tour, whenever Ed comes back to Europe, maybe, potentially. We know, we know the ticket's gonna go, go so quickly, and yeah, and maybe potentially meet Ed. That'd be amazing. Yeah, before or after this show, that would be good. Uh, small, intimate theater, that would be, that would be the dream. Yeah, you know, yeah. And also, in one of my old Subtract videos that I actually said that the Subtract tour, like in intimate venues, I think that's, I think believe that video is from 2019. And yeah, I'm gonna play you guys that little clip now. That That's why I'd love to go to the Subtract tour in a small intimate venue. I think Ed won't play massive venues. I think he will play back to theatres again, just like he did on Plus, and he won't play no stadiums on this tour, because like he's already done stadiums and it's the most attended and most grossing world tour of all time now with the Divide World Tour, which I'm so happy but sad that I haven't, that I haven't, I haven't been to an Ed show before, but 
I don't know, I want to try and go to his subtract show, but I'm not too sure. Yas, yeah. And theatres will be good because it'll be just only a small crowd. It won't be as big as a stadium or a park or something. And when the concert ended around, I think it was around quarter to 11 in, in the evening, and you know, I think I almost passed out with Uni Me, I don't need you, in the fireworks again. That was freaking amazing. And then, yeah, we were waiting for my dad's friend to, to pick us up and then to drive us back home. And I think I got, I think we got home about three o'clock in the morning, I think. It was about half two, three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you know, it was crazy. You know, as I, we didn't book a hotel or anything, as as you know, that I think organising everything like I think it stresses me out, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it stresses me out and all that lot. Uh yeah, organising everything like prices as well, like money wise and everything. It just, just yeah, organise organising everything like in months in advance and you know, that things could go wrong, like train getting cancelled and I like for me personally I like things to go according to plan, like, like properly, you know, life, life is like, doesn't go according to plan. Uh, but then you see on social media, people that, I don't know, on social media, they, all, they always post about the good stuff all the time, where I think we need to kind of embrace feeling not not jealous, but you know, about uh, constantly comparing yourself, and that's like that's what social media is like: constantly comparing yourself to society, and yeah, uh, which isn't great. But you know, that's what it is. You know, if you're always on social media, and yeah, like I do want to go to more stuff, but I know that I can't because. I enjoy just relaxing, having a balance, you know, like just relaxing and not like go, 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 go all the time for me personally. But people just love the, I'm more of an extrovert, I'm more of an introvert than an extrovert. I think that's what it is, I think, I don't know. And then, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but this video is all about the year anniversary of me seeing so Ed life for the first time, and yeah, you know, I think, like, you know, like, I, I'm, I love listening to Ed's albums and songs and singles and collabs and co-written songs, you know, and collecting merchandise CDs and cassettes and vinyls and all that, like, you know I me, mean, guys, and yeah, but I'd love to see Ed more times, but, but, you know, like, yeah, I'm just worried that, like, people, like, which, you know, travelling, you know, I don't like travelling as much and everything, I'm more of a home person, so I'd love to really, like, see Ed at an intimate venue on the Subtract tour whenever Ed comes back to Europe, like, imagine front row, that would be crazy, yeah, which, yeah. That would be amazing, and, and the dream to see Ed on the Subtract tour, maybe potentially me and saying thank you for everything that is done for me, yeah. And yeah, you know, see what the future brings, and you know, I'm not sure if I'm seeing them, you know, you just don't know, do you, if you're seeing them or not. It's just, I don't know, it's just a mental block in my, block in my head. Yeah, like, you know, I am happy for everyone, but I wish I, I, I went to more shows but but yeah but I'm just grateful for everything even though I've been to only one show which was last year and yeah like like I would love to see Ed live a lot of times but I don't think I can mentally do it like you know always traveling on my own I'm not used to it pretty much and so many people can do it and uh, which I know that I get 
anxious and that and whilst in well I'm not going to work because I know that um yeah it's just for example when you see on social media it's like people going to shows and that uh oh, you just wish you just compare yourself and I know I'm a young person and everything but always going to shows doesn't really make yourself more of fun than others like it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't matter how many shows people go to but um yeah this is a, I don't think this is going to go in the video but if it does don't hate me for this is you know I, I, I understand that People go to shows for distraction and have fun and everything. But, but I just easily compare myself to other people at times. And I felt like this ever since the divide near the end of the divide tour was seeing like seeing like nearly the same near the same people all the time and I'm happy for people. I'm happy for people. Not gonna, don't get me wrong, but when I'm just like I'm so grateful that I've seen Ed once, just once, and I'm not. It isn't guaranteed that I'm gonna see him next year when he comes back to Europe, but I would love to go and see Ed on the Subtract tour. Yeah, <laughs> it just it's just so awkward. <laughs> It was very, very awkward and everything like that. Uh, yeah, I think we need to, you know, when you look, when you scroll on like social media, people are always doing stuff and they're going to sh concerts all the time, multiple shows. Yeah, I'm happy for people, but, <laughs> but I just compare myself too much, I think. Yeah. Um, but you're a f we're a fan either way, and um, yeah, it doesn't everyone's different in their own way, and it seems like social media and society try and makes everyone the same like the norm like the norm when you always scroll on social media or or at all these concerts and that and you know. Traveling all the time, and what makes me like anxious and that, yeah. I think I'm gonna end the video now, to be honest. But you know, with my experience for seeing Ed, Ed live for the first time, alcoholics behind me, there was a situation there in front of me, and then a train ride I didn't like. Yeah, you know, on social media, you know, we don't you don't see where I'm personally coming from. And I'm not sure if anyone has had like a bad concert experience where it like not drowns you, but well, you know, you wish it was be a bit of a better experience as such. I don't know. Hopefully, this helped someone or maybe a few people. I don't know, or I'm not sure what this video is gonna do. I hate comments. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. But well, I'm happy for everyone that they're going to shows. But well, I think that's the first time you're letting that out. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, of me, like. Well, everyone's a fan in their own way. I'll say that. Yeah. Everyone's a fan in their own way, but it's crazy that it's the norm now ish of. It's just the expectations of always going to shows nearly all the time. And. But. I understand why people, you know, to have fun around people and, and, and that, and yeah, yeah, but my, I would love to, I would love that my next Ed, Ed Sheeran show is on the Subtract tour, an intimate small venue and maybe potentially see me Ed in person, that would be amazing for me. Yeah, I'm just going to end the video then, there, yeah, and if you guys enjoyed this video of me, Talking about my first, it's been a year since 
Missing Ed Life. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.